We know meal planning can be overwhelming, but Real Plans allows you to easily configure your diet the way you need it. Once you have set up your diet, the meal planner will schedule meals into your plan that match your dietary requirements. Let's get started. To find this screen, head into Settings, My Meal Plan. Here you will have the option of Diet and Schedule and Advanced Settings. Under your Advanced Settings, you have the option to make changes such as your start day of the week, recipe measurements, and activating things like slow cooker and pressure cooker recipes. If you want to make any changes here, simply toggle them on or off and click Done. But first, let's head into your diet and schedule. The first thing you need to select is the diet type you are going to be following. There are several diet types to choose from. For this video, let's go with Paleo. Next, select your serving size. This is the amount of servings you want to cook for every meal. So if you are cooking for two people, you will select two. Now, let's click on Advanced Dietary Restrictions. On the left, you will find all the food groups that are compliant with your selected diet type. On the right, you will find a list of non-compliant food groups that the meal planner automatically removes for you when you select your diet type. Excluding and including food groups is really easy. If you want to modify your diet type even more, you can select food groups you personally want to exclude from your diet, like this. And there it is in your excluded food groups. You can always include food groups back into your diet by clicking on it. And there it is in your included food groups. Below your food groups, there is an option to exclude individual ingredients from your planner. If you have an allergy or simply want to exclude an ingredient you do not like, you can type it in the box over here. Click on Find Variants. A list of all the ingredients containing that word will pop up. You can then select those you want to exclude and move them over into your excluded selection. Once you are happy with your changes, click Save. Let's move on to the schedule. Here you have the option to select how many meals you want your planner to populate for you in your schedule for either breakfast, lunch or dinner. You can use the slide option like this and the planner will automatically schedule random meal slots for you. If you would like to be more specific, you can do that by clicking on Advanced Scheduling. Here you have the option to select a template that you want. You can then further customize your schedule by turning on where you specifically want meals to populate on your meal planner. This means that the plan will schedule meals into the slots that you have activated. Here comes the fun part. If you want even more control of your planner, you can click on Filters next to your activated meal slots. Let's say that you usually cook dinner for two, but for this dinner, you want to cook for four every week. You can increase that over here. You can even select a specific recipe to show up every week by typing it in here and adding it with a plus. An overview of your filter changes will pop up and you can confirm them by clicking Add. You can continue to make any changes you want to your schedule. When you are done, click on Save. There is one more nifty little feature on this screen. You can select that the planner populates leftovers for you. This will automatically double your dinner serving sizes to ensure you have leftovers for whenever you want them. When you are happy with the changes you have made to your diet and schedule, click on Save. Update My Plan will populate a new plan for you. However, if you have already crafted the perfect week and have gone shopping for those ingredients, you will select Update My Future Plan to keep your current week intact and only populate new meal plans for the weeks coming. I would like a brand new plan, so I'm clicking on Update My Plan. And that's it! You have your very own personal meal plan. Another exciting feature that we have in your recipe box, you will find a filter called My Diet. This will ensure that as you browse recipes, all recipes shown will be compliant with the settings you have created. If you're still feeling a little mystified by all of this, you can email us at support at realplans.com. You can also click on the chat button at the bottom of your screen. We have chat agents ready to help you with any questions you may have. 
Good luck and welcome to Real Plans. <laughs>